purchasing our T-type tangential attachment. This video will cover the important details concerning the setup of Fetty's tangential thread rolling attachment on CNC lathes and screw machines. LMT Fetty, the world leader in thread rolling, with a significant U.S. inventory of the broadest line of quality products, in-depth technical experience, trained and responsive customer service representatives. For our customers, all of this means the best, most efficient production tools for their particular applications. In these days of shorter runs, the big challenge is minimizing machine downtime during setups. Our LMT Fetty T-Type tangential attachment meets the challenge by dramatically reducing setup time, which translates into improved cost efficiencies and more productive utilization of your machine tool. Setup in less than 10 minutes is our motto. The LMT Fetty T-Type is the only attachment that can assure this time-saving advantage, and our application engineers will show you how. The revolutionary LMT Fetty design completely eliminates the single most time-consuming element of the entire setup procedure, the matching of the rolls. This makes the LMT Fetty attachment unique in the world of thread rolling. Setup of our rolls is performed scientifically, not by trial and error. First, let's collect all of the pieces of the T-type attachment on a bench, including the attachment, holder, thread rolls, setting master, and the sheet metal, gauge number 36. The same scientific procedure is used for every setup, which makes setup fast, accurate, and predictable. Loosen the number 25 cap screw and withdraw the number 3 axles in the direction of the arrows marked on the front of the attachment arms. Using the sheet metal gauge number 36, make sure the drive pinions are in the correct position. If they are not, loosen the number 27 screw and remove the number 4 bushing. Remove the combined gears number 11 and number 12, then rotate the number 8 pinion until the drive lugs do fit the gauge. Reinstall the combined gears with number 11 entering the arm first. Replace the number 4 bushing and tighten the number 27 screw. Insert the number 17 carbide bushings in the rolls. Put the number 1 roll in the position marked number 1 with the number on the roll being on the outside open end of the arm. Position the number 17 washer between the roll and the narrow arm and slide the number 3 axle all the way home. Do the same with the number two roll. The slots in the axle must be lined up with the marks on the number 13 bushing. Tighten the number 25 screws. And as a final check, make certain the rolls rotate freely and that when one roll is held and the other is rotated toward the inside, that it returns to its original position without binding. Insert the setting master between rolls in the attachment. Loosen the number 28 screw and adjust the number 30 screws equally until they make a snug fit over the gauge. Then tighten the number 28 screw. Turn blank to mean pitch diameter of the thread to be rolled. Make a chamfer on each end of the blank that is at least 30 degrees measured from the axis of the blank. Attach the holder to the machine and put the setting master in the holder. With our LMT Fetty system, there is no guesswork to finding the center of the piece part. To find the center line, which is also called the total advance, move the turret up so that the setting master gauge touches the OD of the prepared blank. When the attachment is mounted in the holder, the rolls will be on the center line of the prepared part. The rolls should never be fed beyond this point. Now, remove the setting master and install the attachment in the holder. To establish your machining program, advance the turret to where a roll just touches the OD of the blank. This is where the working stroke begins. The length of the stroke, known as AV, is marked on the setting master. AV is the distance from where the rolls touch the piece part to the center line of the piece. 
Depending on the material and the pitch of the thread, decide on the number of revolutions you want. Divide the number of revolutions into the total advance to determine the feed rate in thousandths per revolution. Program the feed rate into the machine and be sure to add five extra revolutions on NC lathes to provide a dwell at the end of the stroke. On screw machines, the attachment is withdrawn immediately. There is an arrow marked on the side of each arm showing the direction of rotation of each roll. The roll that rotates in the same direction as the blank must contact the blank before the other roll. Install the spring-loaded bolt number 31-2 so that it contacts the arm holding the roll that rotates in the same direction as the blank. Advance the attachment until this roll is about to contact the blank. Then set the solid bolt number 31-3 so that there is about 40 thousandths of an inch clearance between this roll and the blank. The same procedure must be performed with the spring clip to ensure the proper roll touches the part first. Now you're ready to make a part. Roll the thread and check it for size. Occasionally there might be some taper. If there is a slight taper, it can be easily corrected by rotating both number three axles in the same direction. Rotating them towards the front of the attachment makes the thread smaller near the smaller arm and vice versa. Retighten the number 25 holding screws. Any twisting of the axles during rolling will result in broken rolls or gears. So there you have it, you're ready to go. We hope this video has been helpful. As a user of LMT Fetty thread rolling attachments, you will now enjoy the benefit of minimal...